Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is a super, super exciting day. We are already here at Horse Event. There's too much happening to start anywhere else. Uh, we are just about to head to the stand for the first time. I'm gonna see it fully finished and ready to go. We have the uh, opening of the stand in one hour. We have a meet and greet in one hour and the whole collection is also going up online for sale worldwide in one hour. So two years of work has come to this. It seems that every time I come to a Horse Event, there's some sort of big uh, situation happening so this is what's happening this year um, I do have to grab one thing from my car quickly um, because we have a, f a fake horse at the stand um, and he needs a saddle which I've brought but Meg you can <laughs> maybe give me a hat if that's okay um, and we do have to rush a little bit because we have a few things to finalize and check and a few posts to do to make sure uh, we get the right information out for everybody and I need to also check lots of things still <laughs> so we're gonna head quickly now to the stand um, and uh, start setting it all up yeah okay let's go oh my god it looks so good <gasps> even with a red ribbon and everything whoa hello <laughs> we've made it <laughs> hello how are you? Oh my god. So it's all happening. I can't believe the day has finally come. It's here. And look how amazing the stand looks. It looks absolutely incredible. Like this is really the vision we had. Like already seeing like some of the reactions of the people. Like this is really what we were going for. Like this looks amazing. I can't believe how good the, all the products look finally. Like, I'm seeing them all like kind of come together for the first time now. It's crazy. Okay, we'll put the saddle on. So, good boy. <laughs> and how's everything going with the website? Because that's been a lot of work. Yeah. We're launching at 11, the website is live at 11. So we're just looking for orders to come in and uh, we're so happy to be able to send it out on that and it's just wonderful collection, so... Oh, thank you. The website has been so much work to really get like, and that's been with this whole collection, to get the look that we wanted and to get the functionality and to keep it simple but to still have it beautiful has been such a hard challenge but it's kind of all come together so well now. So now it's just about the final touches. Okay, so we're taking a little bit of time out from the stand. We just come back to check on the horses very quickly, but soon we do have to run back because everything is starting. Horses always make me more calm. So this is where I've come to, to hang out with my friends, to just chill out, be with Flip, <laughs> um, <coughs> and just take it easy. Because in 20 minutes, we're going live with everything. And it's, uh, it's a lot. <laughs> I'm very nervous, yeah. um, but I'm sure, I'm sure everything will be okay. But I think whenever you work a long time towards something, the expectations are very high, but it's going to be okay. Yeah. And Friday is never a busy day. So usually on Friday you have these like high expectations, but there's never like a lot of people. Tomorrow is sold out. So yeah. Tomorrow be no, I know, but I, I always, I wanted to release everything on Friday because I wanted to have the stand open straight away. Yeah. So I was like, well, it's not about how many people there are. It's just don't about worry. getting yeah. this collection out. So don't, even if there are like not that many people, don't even take it. Like, first of all, of course, it's a Friday. Yeah. But I do get the note. <laughs> I do get it. <laughs> it is a little oh. scary. And Taurus is a little bit excited. Oh, buddy. This is Antares' first big show. As you guys know, Antares is at the stables Yes and I have at home. Um, and so he's not really dealing too well. He's a little bit excited, I think. Ooh. Easy. He just wants some company, I think. <laughs> I also need company. Yeah. Oh, that's too much. <laughs> Good boy. You just stay chilled, okay? I think everybody at home needs to see one more thing. It's the cutest little pony. He goes by flip and also heartbreaker. <laughs> this is him with his snazzy little haircut. He's got stars all over him. Okay, look at that. Look at all these stars. Ah, oh, he's so sweet. Hello. <laughs> I think we can squeeze in. Okay, hello everyone. I have a loud voice, but I hope everybody can hear me. Uh, I'm really grateful that you all kind of came to this big opening. Uh, I've been working with Back on Track, Lovisa's representing Back on Track here today. I've been working with Back on Track for a very long time. 
and I've always wanted to make my own collection of something. I thought it would be really cool to kind of put my creativity into something different. I always like to challenge myself with different things. And so the opportunity two years ago came up with Back on Track and I suggested the project and it went ahead. And since then we've been working kind of tirelessly back and forth in making sure we could bring out the best products possible and products that are different and also beneficial to your horses because I always believe that the horse should come first in whatever you do. Uh, and so now we've released six products, including the two variations of the saddle cloth. Um, and I'm really proud to say that I wouldn't change anything about them. Uh, I think they're perfect and I hope you guys also think they're good. <laughs> so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do an official opening. Uh, the collection is now launched worldwide, which is super exciting. Um, and then we can start a meet and greet for anybody who would like to take a photo or say hello or anything. I'm even just curious to hear what you guys think about the products. Um, so yeah, maybe I can get some scissors and we can do the official cut. <laughs> you always see this in movies, so I was like, we need to do it too. <laughs> okay, ready? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh, there's one person that's not ready. <laughs> okay, are we ready? Lavisa, are you ready? Yes. Yeah? yeah. Okay. This is my logo, and so we were able to like com combine both and make it work. <laughs> I need all the hugs I can get. Yeah, hand taking. <laughs> Hello, how are you? <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> Hello, how are you? <laughs> nice to meet you. Amazing collection of them. Oh, good. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that set up. Yeah. <laughs> One cool thing, because you can't really see it. Wait, I want to show you. Yeah. I think you're the first person I show. Okay. But it's got like eight millimeters of memory foam That's inside so of it. Cool. <laughs> and so what I really like about it is that I'll sometimes a lot of saddle cloths like change the way your saddle fits because yeah, they have too much padding. Yeah. But that's like just enough that your saddle pad that is it's still like, like soft, but yeah, like a large. bit of cushioning, yeah. but like oh, still okay. fine. Oh my god, so sweet. Oh, I like that. Thank you. That's really sweet of you. I feel so bad because you always give us like really nice things and even like the mugs like to drink. We have them like at home and we use them all the time. Oh. Yeah, but thank you so much. I really yeah. appreciate it. Okay, so we just finished the launch, the meeting greet, everything went amazing. I was feeling so nervous, especially right before I had to come in. I did a little speech. I told everybody how I felt and what the journey with this collection also was. Now everything is online, the orders are already going crazy. Everybody in the warehouse is running around, starting to ship, starting to get the products to you guys. Um, and yeah, now I, this is where I get to like take a step back and just look at everything that's happened and that has come along uh, and enjoy it. But first, I have to go because I have a show at 5.55 um, and I've got to go home, pick up my horse, drive back here, warm up with Daniel Backman Anderson who's doing the show with me. Uh, and then we need to actually do the show. So I have to leave very, very soon. Um, so I'm gonna say bye to everybody and then uh, I'm gonna go. Okay, we are back at the venue. I've had a quick change. I've grabbed my four-year-old Stallion Emporio. As you can hear, he's very excited. So we're gonna get him out really quickly because I wanna get him to a stable so he can settle down as quick as possible. So we're gonna get this down. Good boy. Okay, just careful now. He is quite young. Good boy, taking it all easy. Easy. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, we're gonna be fine. <laughs> Good boy. So this is all very new for him. This is the first show he's ever come to. Um, so it's important that he gets a little bit of time to get used to it, not to have too many expe expectations. Um, but we're gonna quickly try and get him to the stable so you can just have some downtime to process everything in the journey and he can have something to eat as well. So we can just go probably, this way is probably the easiest. Good boy. Yeah, good boy. Come on, come. Very important that we get the food and the water sorted first for him so he can be comfortable. So I just got a message from Daniel and he said, oh, I just saw your horse, but we were just with him and we're like, what's happening? So I can see him down here now. So let's go say hello <laughs> and let's plan the show. 
Hello. How are you? That's good. Yeah, I'm very good. I'm a lot less stressed now. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> Today is like the most quiet day, but they wanted to have because tomorrow's uh -uh, tomorrow's completely sold out. So <laughs> and Sunday's almost fully sold out too. Hey. Um so it is a really busy today is the least busy day, but it's still a lot of people. Yeah. Do you think we should take him for a walk? Do you think that'll help? Just to give him a bit of a stretch? I think the most important thing for the show is to constantly um, have some oh, constantly have some like uh, talking and discussions and questions uh, because sometimes um, for the audience if there's like dead air time it's very difficult um, and it also becomes very difficult if they don't because we need to try and match from what the show wanted that it's like a 50-50 dialogue so if you can constantly ask me, how does this feel now? And has this worked? And tell me a little you bit about the horse. Have, uh, you can talk also. Yeah, we'll both, we should both have microphones. I mean, I, from what I know. For he's four year old, it's amazing how Muslim he is. You could yeah. say that he's already nine or something. Yeah. And he, um, he's really tall in the wither and quite low in the bum. So that really helps him be very uphill. Um, and he can, he can have a really nice trot. So if we can show that off a little bit, that would be great. So his lines are from, his granddad is, is Uterano, which is, a, is, which is the father of Fuego, okay. that competed at the yeah, yeah, yeah. World Equestrian Games and all that kind of stuff. So he's got great breeding for the... And can I ask you about that in there? What's yeah. your plans are? Of course, What is your totally. future goals yeah. and all these things? Totally. Because and I won't tell you anything now, because then it, can, then it can happen more organically. Exactly. And he's been amazing, like so chilled, great to ride. He's never done anything, knock on wood, but he's got a great character but and he's even though very sweet. He should be wild here. It doesn't matter. It would be nice if we can show then how we try to keep it calm, yeah. calm him down. Yeah, you can always relax a horse more. You can always get the most through and more supple, or you can get a bit more expression. And there's always something to work on, so it won't be a problem. And I think for a lot of people, at least that follow me, it's also about seeing him for the first time because it's the first outing he has. So I think that would be nice. Yeah. And you have more horses than him? Yeah, I've got another, I've got one horse that I brought from Australia. He's called Chase. Um, and with him, I don't do anything as like, really competitive anymore because it just wasn't his thing. <laughs> Some horses are just not meant for it. Um, and then I've got a tiny companion mini yeah, pony. Bear. Yeah, bear. You have like super light. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Thank you very much. There you go. <laughs> I really look forward to coming here today and help Matt with this uh, challenge. And yes. <laughs> it's, it has already been a little challenge out behind here. It's, it's a four year old salad, and in this environment, it's not easy. A lot of small ponies and a lot of horses going around. And, now we will try to make him settle in here and uh, see if we can get him to relax a little bit. So maybe I can describe how he is usually at home because some people can see horses out and they're like, oh, that horse is crazy. But my horse is the most quiet four-year-old stallion I've ever met. <laughs> He's super chilled. I can ride him with mares. I can ride him next to stallions. You can do pretty much anything, but still, even then, the lack of experience, the hormones, everything still does affect him. And that's just his own body kind of fighting against him. All these people. <laughs> okay, I actually have a question, Daniel, because a lot of the time, I believe that doing lateral movements could also really help a horse relax. So if you had to pick a lateral movement to help for the relaxation, what would you say is the best one? Leg yielding. Leg yielding? Yeah. And also because you get the horse sideways, and we get it straight at the same time. And what, what do you want with him in the future? What is like, do you want to compete, big shows, or what's your, your goal? Um, that's, that's where it gets a little bit tricky. I think for me it's always about uh, challenging myself to be the best version of me and that's what I would also like for my horses. So if that means we get to Grand Prix, I think that's an amazing achievement. Um, 
So I, I like to set the bar very high. So I would love one day to be able to, you know, do Grand Prix and, to, and I've taken him there from a three-year-old when I bought him. Um, that's definitely a goal and a big ambition of mine. Um, but I'm also very grateful for all the steps that he's already given me. Well, so, I think that's very good. You should have good, high goals uh, for yourself. <coughs> Everybody should have that. Yeah, and we call that um, helping a young selling in his first outing. And how was that? Was he better? Or it was very good. I think yeah. if you guys would have seen how he was when, when I got on in the warm up, it, it was very, very different. But as, uh, as Daniel mentored me through it, it, it is all about like keeping your state of mind calm and collected and being able to assist them and to be understanding that it is scary for them and they don't know what's happening. So uh, it's so nice with a show like this, eh? it's not a competition, it's a show. Exactly. It's a clinic with this guy in the middle. Thank you very much. So how do you think it went with our, with our clinic? I think it went really well. I think we, we were proving the point yes. that we have had a little bit tense horse came in, in, come in, and he was also getting a little bit better. Then he got tense again, yeah. got him a little bit better, and in the end he was really good and he settled. That's actually the point uh, to show people with a young horse how they can react and how they, they can be with good riding to calm down. I mean, yeah. uh, so I'm actually really pleased. Yeah. I think we, we got exact to where we wanted to be. We wanted to take a horse that was stressed to a relaxed state. And that's, uh, that's what we were able to achieve. Good boy! I think I just need to do this a lot more with him. <laughs> yeah. and, I mean, this is and the journey's just begun, so he is four. Um, good boy. Easy. I mean, it, at least it, it's, it, this is a, an environment that is not easy for a young horse at all. No. Uh, so that was good. Yeah. I think so too. He got a good experience, yeah. which was actually the main goal. Yeah. That's the same. No, absolutely. I think I just, I, I'll take a lot of what you gave as advice home and when I do the, my next outings. Uh, because as you said, it's also about getting the experience, experience and going out. But it's nice having these tools to be able to work with because then it gives you something to do when you, when you go out and you're presented with these challenges. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'll, uh, I'll come say bye when I'm off the horse. <laughs> Okay, so that wraps up my first day here at Horseman, which is Friday. I still have Saturday and Sunday to go, which I'm doing shows in uh, on both those days. We have the stand still going, we have meet and greet, so it's going to be really, really busy. I feel absolutely exhausted, especially because I only slept two hours last night because all of this was such a big deal. I'm going to bring Emporio home because as you can hear, he's still not really dealing with it all. Um, but apart from that, I want to thank you guys for tuning in again on this very, very special video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.